Right today we're going to be building a computer. Um, we're not necessarily starting from scratch, but we're going to learn the ins and outs of what a computer is made up of and uh, the different parts and components that make the computer function. Uh, as you can see here, we already have a pre-built computer. This is a older model, but it'll, this will work for what we're going to do today. Even though it is possible to build a computer without a computer case, I highly recommend that you use a case to protect your computer parts so they don't get damaged. When constructing your first computer, it's best to build on the side of the computer. Each computer case should come with side panels that can be removed easily. Now that the side panel on the computer is removed, inside you can see many wires and different components. This is a PETA cable. This is an older kind of cable that is used to connect hardware to other computer components. Uh, you don't see many of these these days, but they were used in older computers, as in this one. Uh, you also have a fan that will go over the heatsink. Fans are used to keep the computer cool so it does not overheat. This is important so your computer does not malfunction. Depending on your computer, it may require more than one fan. Next, here we have a stick of RAM. We're going to install three sticks of RAM into this computer. RAM is a temporary storage device. Also, for this particular build, we are going to need some screwdrivers and some screws to install the fan on the heatsink. This silver box in the corner of the computer is your power supply. This gives your computer power. This metal grate is your heatsink, which is over the processor. This keeps your computer cool so it doesn't malfunction. This purple rectangle here is your graphics card. This has to deal with visual performance of your computer. Here we have your PCI slots. This has to do with speed and power of your computer. The yellow square that you see under all of these components is called the motherboard. It is a very important component which all of the other components hook to. Up near the top, next to your power supply, you have your disk drive and your hard drive. Your disk drive is for reading disks that you put in your computer. Your hard drive is for storing memory, also for hardware devices such as SD cards, flash drives, etc. What we are looking at now are the motherboard RAM slots. This is where we will install our three sticks of RAM. Each slot comes with two clips, so the RAM is secure in place. Next, we will install our fan onto the heatsink. You want to make sure that you screw down the fan very firmly so it does not come apart. Next, we are going to hook the fan into the motherboard. The next step is to install the PETA cables. Cable managing your wires is very important when building a computer because you do not want your cables to be caught in a fan or other computer components. This could cause damage to your wires and you may need to replace parts. After the PETA cables are installed, we are now going to plug the hard drive into the motherboard. Also, we are going to plug the disk drive into the motherboard as well. Now that the build is done, you can 
put your side panel back on your computer and your computer is ready to use. Hope this tutorial helped. Have a great day.